So sometimes in a drawing, you want to have a dimension with no tolerance. How do we do reference dimensions in a Libre? And at other points, how do we use layers to best portray what we want to portray in a drawing? Well, let's go through it today. Here's the chair that we've been working on. Let's make a drawing out of it now. And we'll go to Send To, Make Drawing of This Design. And of course, we'll pick our default template. And I'll rotate this the way that I would like and add in our standard three view. And with the three views inserted, we talked in the past about having uh, something that referenced the ground and that way we could use like a uh, envelope height kind of view. And so for that, I'll activate a sketch and view as before and I'll insert my line. Now, we talked about how the problem with this method is we have this line in our drawing that's really not great to be there. And also, we have this dimension that it's not really pointed out as being a reference dimension, right? So it's almost as though we're calling out a tolerance for this height, which we don't want to do. We just want to reference a general envelope. So how do we tackle both of these issues? Well, let's take this height first, right? When we convert this to a reference dimension, what we'll do is I'll stand on my dimension. We'll go File, Drawing Properties, and we'll go to uh, Dimension Styles. And from here, I can check this box as a reference dimension. And when that's checked as a reference, we get our reference parentheses. So as a reference, now we don't have to require a tolerance around it, but we still have this annoying line that I used to create the dimension with, and I'd sure like to get rid of it. So I'm gonna to go to Deactivate Sketch. And with this line, we can use layers to uh, remove this line and do many other interesting and important things. The layers can be accessed from this button right here, known as layers. And if I click it, it brings up this menu of different layers that we can use. So for instance, if I right click and say set layer on my dimension, I can choose any of these existing layers, such as a phantom layer. And all of a sudden now my dimension is with phantom lines because it's on the phantom layer. That would be kind of a cool, I don't know, movie thing or something, you know, like the phantom layer. But we'll go to set layer and we'll say continuous. And so I want some things to be in the drawing, right? I need this line in the drawing to actually use it for a dimension, but I don't want it to be visible. So I'll go to my layers menu I'll say add a layer and I'll call this invisible. You see that we have a hidden up here and the hidden is actually for uh, hidden line formats. It's not actually invisible. So I don't have to mess with my invisible layer at all. I can just uncheck the visible property. And now that I've created this layer, I'll go to my line. I'll say, I want my layer to be invisible and we'll say okay and now it's removed from the drawing but it's still there and one of the ways that I know that it's still there is if I show my invisible line again and I and I activate the sketch in the view and I move my line over here well now I'll deactivate my sketch. I'll go to my layers. We'll turn this invisible again, right? The leader is now affected by <laughs> the line that is invisible. The leader ends over here. So I'll activate a sketch in 3D view. I can even see the tip of my invisible line and I can drag it back to somewhere that I think is a little bit more relevant. So that's how we deal with layers. And there's a lot of things that we can do with layers. So I can, uh, I can select this whole view right here, right? And this is view two in my tree. And I'll click on this uh, carrot to drop it down. And I can set my layer and my view here 
and I can say, you know what, maybe I want this to be a center solid layer, and now it's the color and style that that layer has. So I can have entire views, I can have sketch elements, I can have dimensions, all have their own layers, and I can even select things by layer. So if I select this by layer, then it selects all the other parts of the sketch in that same layer. Uh, so extremely useful. And when we go to our layers, right, if I go to my purple layer, we can change the weight of things. All right, I can give this a weight of one, a scale of 1.5, right, and we apply all that. And you can see that now we've just made a very heavy scale on that property. We can also right, make this maybe a center. Or just dot. And then I have the option to lock layers, which of course prevents them from being affected. But uh, that is what we would look like with our layers. So there's our dot format with our thick lines, right? So we can modify these layers quite a lot. And the advantage, of course, is that anything on that layer is now going to look like that. So we can modify lots of things at the same time just by using layers. And that's how we use reference dimensions as well as layers to get the most out of our drawings. And we've got even more features coming up. See you then.